Phoebe's labor actually happened very, very fast. Um, Brandon had been out cleaning the shed. He happened to notice a little bit of goo, he told me, and I was in making lunch for the kids. And so I'm like, well, I'll just watch and record it on my phone. Um, she's not doing anything else. It's just goo, no contractions, no nothing else. And so I'll just keep my eye on her. And literally she laid down while we were talking as I had turned the camera on and pushed for three minutes. That's all it took. And she, like both of them just shot out by the time I got out there. So unfortunately this is as exciting as the uh, actual footage gets, but I thought I'd share it with you. Well, I tell you what, folks, you surely, you cannot, you just can't call them sometimes because uh, she, just like an hour ago, just kind of started to act a little off and Brandon was out here um, cleaning the shed and he's like, hey, she's got just a little bit of goo hanging. And I'm like, okay, we'll keep an eye on her. And she was not doing anything, like nothing that would make you think that like labor is like, how do I say this? Like imminently imminent, and we're eating lunch. You're so cute. Look at that face. And uh, we're eating lunch, and I'm just kind of watching the camera, and my daughter's like, "Oh, I can I can see a bag." I she started to push, and I'm like, "Yeah, we'll give her." Whenever I rush out there, it always takes longer, so we'll give her a couple pushes. Yeah, well, dang near missed all of it because she just like a couple push these babies straight out, like one after the other. So. Where did my, I think you want to go grab mine. It is something that is needed in your area, as it may not be. Um, here, we do need it. And I know a lot of people, and I shouldn't say a lot of people, some people argue that we don't. But I also don't think um, just because selenium is available in the soil oh, does not mean that um, it remains in the feed, so like in the hay, once the hay's been harvested. And there's well, we a, might need to bring them no, these girls are looking good. You don't you don't want babies to have to come inside. You got another needle for me? Oh, yeah. Look at these girls. Oh, oh my you. goodness, look at your face. That's how fast that's. Look at that face. The I know, are you scared? Oh, she has a little Um, But it doesn't mean that that selenium has been taken up in the hay. And so, and then, you know, this I don't know for sure, but I'm sure there's a certain level of, like, um, degradation or like breakdown that goes into like once the hay is actually harvested and then you know eventually it, it does lose feed value over time so um, 
that's something to consider too. But anyway, do your research for yourself. Figure out what your herd needs. We use it where you are. You may not need to use it, so keep that in mind. Can I clean up the um, scissors? Yep. And then I also give bee complex. That's just to boost their appetite. You don't need to give that. That just, um, I just want to make sure that they have all the goods so they can get up and rolling. You're good. Oh my goodness, we have liftoff. Hello girls. Our faces are so precious. Yes. Look at that face. Okay mom, because you have to think about getting up. Okay, and then, let's see. This is one of these cheesy things that I do that you most definitely don't need to do. Um, but in between kit or in between moms, I like to clean off my scissors with um, just an alcohol wipe. You don't need to do that. That's just something. Just if if there were to be something. We don't get fix your ears, huh? We don't get fix your ears. Pete's ears. Pete's ears. They're both ears. Very um, cute. I know. Oh, we got Arnery coming over here. No, I don't even hear her.
everyone. So, um, this one went so easy that I'll probably upload this video. So these videos will probably be just a smidge out of order because I'll probably upload this one today because this one will probably be like five to eight minutes total. It'll take me three minutes to edit. Um, but yeah, she basically sneezed them out and they're doing good. I tube number one, just a couple ounces of just, just cow milk. Um, just cause I don't know, sometimes you can just tell that they're a little slow. Oh, mom's tired. Um, I don't know, you can just tell they'll have a little bit harder time figuring it out. And she, she's finally, number one's finally latched on and it's like a, a switch just flipped. Oh, I guess I gave her a little bit of, I gave her the BOCI shot and a little bit of that selenium E or selenium vitamin E paste um, because that the paste actually has a lot of selen vitamin E in it and the vitamin E makes the selenium more available. And so I gave that to her and then probably about, I don't know if it was correlated or not, but probably about 10 minutes later, she finally latched on and, and she's figured it out. So, um, so yeah, they're two big, beautiful doe kids. They got pretty heads on them and pretty markings. And yeah, these two, um, they'll be, I want to say they'll be 97 or 98% um, registered. So they'll be purebreds. Um, but yeah, they're looking, they're looking really good. So really pretty. Um, their ears, both of them have folds in their ears, but they look like the type of folds that'll just, that'll just come out on their own. So I won't worry about it until, until it looks like a chicken. Um, but, oh, another thing. So this is the reason why I do like to be around, um, when the kids are born is because sometimes, and I can't remember, there's a special name that they give it. Um, but sometimes they'll be born in the sack. And um, that is dangerous because if they're still in the sack, like if they still drop and they're still in the sack, they can drown, they can die. And so I had just stepped out, or I had just made it in the shed when she had pushed her out. Um, and so I tore the sack open and she started wiggling and, and she took a breath. And so, so she's fine. Um, but yeah, that's another reason. There is sometimes that the sack just doesn't break. I want to say that it has something to do with some type of deficiency but I can't remember which one it was. Um, if the sack is too, too thick, too hard, too whatever to break on its own. Um, but I just tore it open and she's fine. So, but anyway, yeah, this is Phoebe. Phoebe made it look easy. And she still looks great and her girl.